You know, we have been dealing with violence and crime and other issues in parts of Baltimore for years, but two weeks ago, they were put on national display by the president. Donald Trump took to Twitter attacking Congressman Elijah Cummings and Baltimore, calling the city a, quote, rodent and rat infested mess. And while this was not the attention we wanted from the president, it did get the attention of many around the country. And that includes the owner of a trash collection company way down in Florida who decided to jump into action. WMAR 2 News' Brian Kubler was out there in West Baltimore today where volunteers were out there helping to improve the area because the Trump put the spotlight right on the problem. Jimmy, it's an unintended and welcome consequence from the tweet storm of a couple of weeks ago. And now their second day, the traveling trash men were done with the political throwdown and continued to pick up. They're from Florida, New York, and yes, even Boston. But they're here because they want to be. The traveling trash men lending their services for free to help pick up trash and maybe some Twitter storm debris. John Rourke is the owner of this Florida trash company. I decided there was no, enough talking. It seemed like that's all anybody was doing was talking and nobody was acting. And this is what it looks like. Today is their second day. Yesterday, Rourke says they removed five tons of garbage out of this area of West Baltimore. Today, in half that time, that same amount and all of it came out of the alley just south of North Avenue between Payson and Appleton. I thought, I thought maybe the ice would be better than I haven't soda. had one of these in years. <laughs> I, I had to come all the way to Baltimore Cheers. to get one. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Denise G certainly knows how much trash was back in here. She lives on Appleton, saw these men working, and bought them all snowballs, Oriole Orange. It is, she says, the least she can do. I really appreciate it. I have two grandsons I'm raising, and... I really appreciate this. How much better does the back of your alley look like? 100 percent, 150 percent better. Yes. It's just been an amazing welcoming here. You saw the lady here just brought us all snowballs. I mean, it's just been really an outpouring of love, and uh, we appreciate it. And the city is leaning in, too. DPW gave an assist today with bigger equipment to haul away bulk trash. It also waived any fees for using the landfill. Downtown restaurant owners fed this crew last night. They even took in the Ravens game. The traveling trash men are focusing on this small part of West Baltimore, but they're making a big impact, perhaps about as big as the city is making on them. It's amazing, man. It's like you, sometimes you forget, by, you know, you're working every day, what it feels like to really give back. Um, and it's, it, I feel really good about it. It's, it's very humbling. The support is awesome. Um, the city's great. So the traveling trash men have been here since yesterday and plan on working in West Baltimore through tomorrow.